Hi guys, I'm Locutus, and welcome back to XCOM 2. Uh, we've just done our first operation, and uh, we've got the last of our tutorial troopers killed. Not intentionally, but, uh, well, it worked out quite neatly that way, I guess, so. Let's go down to the armory, and we will start with the customizing of our new squad of... Expendable Minions! Sorry, I mean loyal friends. So, let's go and see soldiers. At the moment we have a few people available here. I'm just going to have a look in the recruit screen and see if any of my existing characters that I've created are available off the bat. No they're not. So, with that we will begin Operation Rename My Friends. I'm going to do this the way I did last time, which is I'm going to go straight off my Facebook friends list and name it after you guys. So, if anyone has any preferences on anything once their character's named, if you're watching this, by all means pipe up and I will do what I can. Uh, as before, I'm keeping this to the same rules as previously, which is I'm just going to name you as we go down the list. Uh, I will change nationalities and things this time because you can actually do that now, so. So we'll start with Melissa Boy, and the first person on my list is Hannah. So Hannah, we're going to name you. I'll find out what class you are as well. You are... Apparently going to be a sniper. Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage sharp enemy shooter. targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. And we're going to do some customization. not going to go through and change everyone's characters initially to try and, you know, look like people or anything like that, because otherwise it will take me a very long time. I might do a bit more later, but uh, if I do that, I won't do it on camera. nationality. Do so. And the voice. Location confirmed. That'll do. You know what? I am going to go through and customize all these guys, but I will do it off camera. So, with that, uh, I'll, I'll finish naming the first characters and then I will pause the video and then we'll... Uh, Come back up for a little renaming, for a little uh, tinkering. So Hannah, you're first off the list. Let's see who's next. Let's bring up my list again. Sarah Kelly. So that's another woman. And we will name her... You know, I'm going to go straight down the list, ignoring gender, because you can actually customize gender in this time around, so I think I can just change the characters to match. So, this number two rookie, that's actually going to be Vince. So, Vince, you are going to be... a specialist. Operating some of our most advanced equipment. Specialist. Hacker or a medic. On the battlefield that can be uh, you're probably going to be a medic initially, medic because... Well, that's the way it goes sometimes, but uh, we'll come back to that in a minute. Whatever, let's do customization. Character info. Uh, first of all, Vince, last time I checked, you were male. You know what? I think I'm going to leave Vince as Australian. And I'll nickname you Bruce when we get the chance, because I think Vince will appreciate that. So 
some folks I'm going to do more customization for others just because, you know, I know some of you better than others. Uh, some people on this list, I'm going straight down the friends list without preference, like I said. But we will do more customization. So yeah, we've got Vince as well now. And then we have Silvio Pratacci, who is going to be Adam. Adam, you are... Grenadier. Servos are demolitions experts. The Grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. You know, I might leave you as Italian if I can get a matching language for it. Let's customize it. Obviously, that uh, a lot of my friends are going to be English on here, <laughs> so uh, that's just the way it's going to go. And we will change your voice to a UK English one as well. Got it. That'll do. And then we'll go through finish renaming. Next up is Ryan. Again, he's English. And again, he's male. up. content, you know, more than once every month. So yeah, definitely go check his stuff out. Uh, I don't know if he's done XCOM 2 yet. Uh, if not, he probably will at some point, because I know he loves this kind of game. And yeah, definitely worth a watch. And... Next up... back up is Claire with a very interesting choice of facial weather and is apparently Russian but oh, I'm renaming it working English Vince I am going to leave you as Australian though just because I can and Well, Bruce was awesome. <laughs> and James needs to get renamed as well. On it! Uh, James also needs to be changed from character info because apparently you're Chinese in the moment. And that won't do. So yeah, obviously you the British thing is going to be a fairly running theme. And then we will go customize again. And the last person off our initial group of troops is going to be Bex.
Okay. So, with that said, we'll go back to the first character there. Do a little bit of customization. I'll show you how uh, the customization system works in this and what you can change. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of this for everyone. So yeah, first of all, let's go back to Anna. And we'll try and make her... There's only so much you can do with this, by the way. None of these are going to be spitting images, and I'm not going to spend hours and hours and agonizing over the ins and outs of who has slightly left whether your nose is quite the right shape or things like that, and, you know, I'm just going to pick a face that looks vaguely in the rough vicinity of someone who might be mistaken for you if you were looking through the bottom of a pint while drunk uh, in a dark room after someone had punched you repeatedly in the face. But yeah, it's, it's not going to be a spitting image, but... Uh, so, but yeah, if you have absolutely no concept of recognizing people, then uh, yeah, these might look a little bit like you, I guess. So let's go character info. That's all fine. Uh, props. Initially, you don't have a lot to choose from, but uh, we're going to take the hat off because I don't think we need a hat. Uh, armor wise, you can choose from a bunch of arm selections here. I think the sort of wraps. Yeah, I think that that works. Uh, the legs. I think we will stick with the basic sort of trousers with knee pads. Yep, and torso. Basic vest, I think. No, I kind of like that with like the hood and stuff there. And I'm actually going to put a recon hood on her as a sniper because I think that looks kind of cool. And then we'll change the face style. I'm going to lose the hood, because I don't like it. Um, don't like that face either. Let's change that. That looks... I mean, none of these are going to look very close, to be honest, but... Let's go with that one. This is where I'm going to get in trouble, because I'm going to get the eye colour wrong and then Anna's going to slap me. Um, I think that's probably a bit dark greenish, that one. So they're more greyish, hazily, but there isn't really... They're not really blue. Uh, maybe that, sort of... Darker green than mine, but let's just go with that. I mean, it's close enough. And hair. We'll go with a sort of rough tied back ponytail. And that's too dark, though. We'll change the hair color to a sort of light brownish. Yeah, that'll work. And can't change the attitude of the moment. And we will save to character pool so she'll appear later. And that's the first one done. Okay, guys, we're going to take a brief pause there, because I'm going to go through and customize all the other characters, but uh, that doesn't make for particularly entertaining viewing, so I will uh, pause it here, and I will resume the video in a moment. 
Okay guys, so that's a brief break there. I've finished all my customization, and let's have a look at what the squad looks like. I've not done too much here, but I just sort of tweaked it. I went back with all the sniper, because I decided, you know, all that stuff was pretty cool for a sniper, so Anna, you've got lots of camouflage stuff on, so... Let's have a look at the next character. We've got Vince, your specialist there. And then we've got Adam, with your massive gun. And then we've got Ryan. After a lot of dieting. Sorry, mate. <laughs> and then we've got James. And then we've got Claire. And then we've got Bex. Now, I put everyone in black uniforms, but I know if I didn't put Bex in something purple, then, and you ever saw this video, you would demand a purple outfit. So, purple it is. You know what, actually, I don't think that's quite purple enough, knowing Bex. Let's go... secondary colour. More purple! Uh, that's a bit too bright. That's how to get shot purple. Dark purple. There you go. The Purple Avenger. <laughs> Should be a name. Actually, that sounds like the name for something else, so let's not call her that. <laughs> Okay, so, um, yeah, with our squad customised, let's go to the bridge and see what uh, Bradford wanted. Just stay clear of the perimeter, understood? Commander, good. I think we got something here. Despite all of Advent's efforts, there are still people who refuse to believe their lies. And it's time we let them know they're not alone. We've already located a target for our first operation. Sir! Given our current location, there's actually no way the Sky Ranger could reach that position. Who said anything about the Sky Ranger? Shen, status report. Are we ready? Short answer? Yes. But you might all want to hold on to something. Also, your base in XCOM 2, if you gather already, is not a base. Not a secret underground bunker anymore. We've got our own ship, boys. Oh, yeah. Behold, the Avenger. Which is an awesome name for a ship. It's what I tend to call my starships in most games, so I'm really glad that that's what it was named. Now we get... Setting course for East Africa. To go on a mission. We're ready to start making moves, Commander. By hitting Advent wherever we find them, we can help strengthen the resistance. In or return, barely. they'll contribute material and personnel to support our operation. You would have to choose from a bunch of different guerrilla ops, but... Uh, let's see what the option is here. Just this one. We've got to destroy the alien relay. And as a reward, we will get an engineer. So let's do it. Commander, it looks like Shen prepped a med kit for us. We should equip one of our soldiers with it before they deploy. Uh, Vince, you're getting the med kit. Because specialists with med kits can use uh, their little uh, friendly boy up here to heal stuff at a distance. So we will be doing so. And we'll be going in with. Yeah, let's just go with whoever it said. With our three experienced soldiers. Hannah, Vince, and Adam. And Bex are also coming along this time, apparently. So... Let's do it. also customize like armor patterns and stuff but only at higher levels so once the squad levels up a bit we'll uh, do some more customization. I might take the purple purple for my liking. We're picking up Keep the purple armor but uh, communications coming from a hidden alien relay uploading data to the advent network from this region. 
as a something like that, that. Destroy the relay before they complete the transfer. just let me know and I will do what I can. And we're now going to begin Operation Froststeed. It's a good name for a mission. Small town in Avid Patrol Zone 3 in the outskirts of Alexandria. Yeah, we're going to just take out the relay and take out any aliens in the area. Relay is up ahead. Move in and destroy the target. And yet we're in stealth mode again. Now one of the things with stealth mode is if you kick a door in or anything and use like action cam, it will instantly break stealth. So we don't want to run through all that stuff. Because that would break us out of stealth. We can, however, do that safely. Will do. So Hannah can make a run over there because sniper rifles you can't fire as your main action anyway if you our gremlins can attempt to access the advent network from here. We might be able to hack their systems and get an advantage. But be careful. If they detect us, things will only get worse. Yeah, you can hack those uh, sonic pylon thingies, I guess they are. Uh, I'm still in stealth, so I'm just going to go up as quickly as possible at the moment. So Vince can run over there and take cover. Adam. Massive rush. So we'll just move up to the edge there and put you on Overwatch, I think. Just in case. On Overwatch. And then Bex can make a run over there. Getting it done. Any aliens? Oh, there's some aliens. Only a couple though, so... Hannah, you can go... I think... Yeah, let's put Hannah up here. Needing to designate a position. And she's a bit exposed on her, but we'll come back to her in a minute and see if we can get some more people in position first. So you can move over to take some cover behind that tree. On the move. And we're going to put Vince on Overwatch, I think. Fully covered. And bring Bex. Take cover behind that on bin over now. there. It's not great cover, but uh, it'll do. We can get a bit of Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. I thought you could get a bit more info on people's cover states. Uh, Adam, I think we're actually going to bring round here. Heading there now. Now, Adam as a heavy. Deer has a grenade launcher, so he might have the range to lob a grenade right into those guys. And he does. Head down. Now these starting level Avin guys are only really for for weeks, so this will probably kill them both. It's not a bad start. Both of them are taken out. One shot. Targets eliminated. Unlike the previous game, you have Dr. Val and Windy on the ground. Oh, don't you have explosives? You'll destroy the stuff we're going to do, and you'll only save your troops' lives. Uh, Hannah, we're actually going to move right up to the front of this billboard, I think. Closing on target position now. So she's in a good overwatch position where she can cover most of the objective there. We'll keep her in overwatch for now. I'm on it. Uh, Vince, we will bring you up to... 
closing on target position now. I've got eyes on Advent troops. Oh, crikey. It's a sactoid. Shoot it in the testicles. Over oh, hammers on Overwatch, so when this thing moves, nothing will happen because it's not on Overwatch this turn, is it? No, it is on Overwatch. It must just not move into range yet. Uh, Vince. Has Vince got a shot? Not really. So we're going to put him on Overwatch in case they get a bit closer. Covering now. Bring Adam up here behind the car. That's a ruined car, so that won't explode on me. Probably. Uh, have we got range to hit the sector with a grenade? No, we don't. So you can. You know what? 27% is not great, but I'll take the chance. And he misses. But worth a try. Bex can move up behind the car as well. That's affirmative. And also go on Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. And if this alien tries to run for it. Oh, nope, he's doing that, is he? Now this is one of the things Sectoids do now in XCOM 2. They raise the dead and create zombies. Now, fortunately, the way it works, mechanic, uh, the way the game mechanic works, when they do that ability, that zombie doesn't get an action this turn. The, dead. the aliens have found a way to mind control them now. And also, oh, if we take that sectoid out, the zombie will instantly die. However, Vince took a shot there, so... However, Hannah, however, has got a shot with a sniper rifle at that sectoid, so we're going to try and take him down. Shot. So Vince, we're gonna move up here. Hit it there now. And I think having taken a shot, we'll use the med kit because Settle down. it's, it's a good time as any to use it. Here. And we're going to use our second ray because Adam has two. So hopefully finish that sectoid off. This is for you. And the way I've placed the grenade, it should hopefully take a chunk of the wall out behind as well. And we destroyed some loot, but that's okay. I can live with that. See, the zombie instantly drops dead. Bex can up take power behind this cactus. Moving Trees and stuff in this game in general are pretty good cover. Uh, again, not a great shot chance there, but... Good girl. That's nicely done. Actually taking very little damage, and Bex get a promotion. So, we'll keep Han on Overwatch for now. Got it covered. Vince. We'll move up to the wall. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Eyes on the target. And all we have to do is take that thing out. So yeah, let's shoot the hell out of it. Adam can move up here. Understood. Moving out. Alright, go over the Bex. Let's run her up here. Oh, actually, if we're going to run her, we might as well run her over here. Moving Cover the out. Other side of the room. That's more aliens. It's another sectoid, and looks like another general has have. Oh, however, they've walked into Overwatch. Right? Nice. Good 
shot at him. Good man. The alien transmission is still active and we're running out of time. Yeah, Get to the relay and take fine. it out ASAP. Hannah's got a shot here. Only at the... Oh, actually, no, she can hit that average trooper. It's only a 39% chance, but... At this level, that's pretty good. But she misses. No, that's okay, though. Come on, focus! I do have a shot at the relay. But at this point, we need to start taking the troops out. Actually, we need to take that sectoid out before it does something nasty, so... Uh, come on, Vince. No. Fail. Adam, can we go up there and stay in cover? Let's see if he can drop this sectoid like a... This is not going so well now. Get it together. This is why grenades are your friend early on, because grenades Negative don't require an accuracy spent. score. Let's bring Bex up to this. Forty-five percent chance is not bad, so I'll take that shot. Go Bex! It's two kills. Let's see if we can take this bad boy out. Well, he wants Overwatch as well. Let's see if Anna can hit him with a sniper rifle. 50-50 chance, so... Heads or tails? Tails, you lose. Target disabled. Is Hannah out of ammo, though, so she's got to reload next turn. Well, let's... Let's bring Vince up here. And have him... Delete the objective. Solve it. That should be it. Status confirmed. Mission One wound, probably only a light wound as well, and mission is successful. That is how we do things. Operation Frostied is complete. And that is our first proper successful mission. So yeah, XCOM. We will be playing this one onwards, and um, like I said, I'll be adding people from my friends list as we go, but um, if you're you actually watching the series and you're interested and you want your character in there, do message me and I will add you to the squad as soon as possible. Um, like I said, I'm just going down my list from top to bottom on Facebook, otherwise, but if anyone mails me or messages me, whatever, saying, yep, yeah, I want in, you're in straight away. That's the rules. I don't make you up, but I clearly do, so. Incidentally, apologies if I sound <laughs> half asleep here, guys. It's been a really long week, and I am absolutely shattered. And to be honest, I'm only starting this video series now because, um, well, for those of you who don't know, I am moving house in a couple of days. And... Well, I figured I might as well do some of this now, because I'm not going to have internet access for so often, so I won't be able to upload any videos for a little while. But, uh, yeah, I figured if I get a few of them up, then I can at least do what I can with, you know, mobile phone broadband and so forth. So, yeah, let's see, we've got some promotions. Vince, you have been promoted. Vince is... At this point, I have a choice. I can either give him medical protocol, which means I can use the gremlin as a medic, or I can use him as a combat hacker. I'm actually going to go with medical protocol, because medical protocol, I think, is more important early on, because it keeps your troops alive, and that gets them more skills. And Bex has become a ranger.
And we've got some more corpses. Now that we've got some help, we can start clearing out the old equipment and debris and from an the ship to make room for new facilities. And now we get base building, which is where we can start to clear some stuff out. So let's, yeah, let's go here. To clear, clear out, out these rooms, debris. first we'll need to assign an engineer to the Assign an engineer. Once and we start getting into the far reaches of the ship, it's going to take more time and manpower to make space for new facilities. However, this is the Looks thing. Unlike the previous just game, word and we'll get started, uh, excavating this stuff, we actually get commander, resources from it. It just takes time and engineers to do it. To get all that stuff cleared out. What does give us? He actually gives us Commander, supplies. Commander, we have a secure oh, transmission coming through. Source unknown. Patching it through to Let's your quarters. Listen, I wonder who it could be. Council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the Resistance from the inside. It was these Resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, Resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this so before be it. it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent black site. Though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. And yeah, that is how it works these days. Looks like we better get started, Commander. I'll be on the bridge when you're ready. Let's go to the bridge. Commander, our current position is here, just outside Resistance Headquarters. When we're not on the move, this will serve as our home and our source of supplies. The Councilman has tracked the alien black site to this region. Unfortunately, we don't have its exact coordinates yet. If we're going to have any chance of finding this facility, we'll need to make contact with the local resistance cell nearby. Tygen has a theory about how we might reach out to them without getting the alien's attention, but we'll need to give him time to conduct his research. We shouldn't wait too long on that, Commander. We have to start making contact with other regions soon if we're going to build a global resistance and take on Advent. New objective added. Sorry if you heard that, guys. Uh, my phone went off for a minute there. I thought to pause for a second, but uh, video is pretty much over an hour anyway, so I was just about to pretty much uh, tie things up here. So, yeah, we've got a contact resistance in the Black Site region, which means. We have to research resistance comms and then fly to the black side to make contact. But we Looks will do like that. We won't have time for that just yet, though. Remote oh. reconnaissance may have found something not far from our current position. Oh. First of all, though, we're going to investigate this. Avenger plotting new course. Because I think this is going to be more rookies for free, which means I will name them before we can Commander, finish with While end. we're waiting for new missions or the completion of our research, we can pass time by scanning at sites like this one. On your order, we'll start our scans of the surrounding area. And this is basically how the geoscape works now, you see. You don't get, uh, obviously, scanning for UFOs. You scroll around the map. And you scan available sites. So let's scan this one. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. Got modular weapons. Which allows us to research magnetic weapons or weapon upgrades. Uh, 
we are actually going to research hybrid materials next, which will allow us to get armor adaptations. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. Okay, I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Let's see what, what we can, can buy. I do for you, Commander? We can build flashbangs, smoke grenades, and that's it. Uh, we're actually going to build a flashbang grenade. That's more of a big deal than you might think. Flashbangs are really useful in this, mainly because they stun enemies a little bit and dis well, they disorient them. Um, but the really important thing with flashbangs this time around is um, if you hit an enemy with an active psychic power running, a psionic power, like say, you know, the zombie raising or a mind control off a sectoid or something, it will actively disrupt that psychic ability immediately. Which is huge. I wonder if this is what it was like in the old days. Always on edge, ready for a fight on a moment's notice. Certainly keeps you on your toes. Yep, pretty much. It was exactly like this in the old days. And let's finish scanning this anyway. We've gained two new rookies, so what we're going to do... Setting course for Sector 12, East Africa. Before we call this a... Uh, a mission, as it were. We're going to go here and rename our two new soldiers. So let's bring up the Facebook Choose-a-thon. List says the next two on the list are Paul and Malk, so let's name these guys accordingly. Right, I think that's where we're actually going to leave the video here. I'm going to customize uh, those two characters as well. Oh, well, actually, before we do, let's just go back to Hannah, because Hannah is going to get that weapon upgrade we found, now that we can use them with those upgrades. And we will put... Now we've got either a scope or a repeater. I think the scope is more useful in the short run. The repeater gives you an instant kill chance. Now, I'm actually going to put the repeater on, I think, initially. Although... Now, I think better aim for the sniper initially, so let's have a scope on there for that. And... Now, as you get better weapons, you can put more than one upgrade on later, but I think... We're actually going to give... Adam the repeater, I think. Also on the grounds that, let's face it, that looks awesome. It is per attack, by the way, the percentage shot, not per bullet, otherwise you'd obviously definitely better put anything like that off on rapid fire weapons. At least I think it is anyway, but, uh, yeah, okay, so, yeah. That's where we're going to leave this here then for now, guys. Uh, I am going to do some customizing on Paul and Malk's characters. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. 
if you've enjoyed the video so far, uh, do hit like and subscribe, and um, yeah, hopefully we'll see you all for some more XCOM 2.